Hello JPIC animators. Welcome to our 10th video of our video series entitled Reflections on the Capuchin JPIC Handbook. Before we start the video, uh, I just would like to give some moment of, uh, dedicate some moment in memory of uh, our brother Nelson Sandoval, uh, a missionary in Venezuela and a very active JPIC animator for many years. He recently passed away, but his memory remains in the hearts of those people that he has touched in the peripheries. And this is the legacy that we JPIC animator leave behind. It's not the big buildings, not the big institutions. It's not the, the, the big movements that we have created. But it is the memory that we leave behind on those people that we have walked in solidarity with as we try to live the gospel life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what our brother Nelson Sandoval has did. In his own small way, he lived the gospel life. And in his own small way, he lived in solidarity with those who were excluded in that society. And they have a saying that heroes don't die. They just fade away. Well, JP IC animators are just like that also. We, we joy, we sing towards the fading sunset, singing with joy as we face a new adventure in our life, as we leave behind the world that we've served, live the gospel life in this world, we slowly fade into the sunset singing for joy. In fact, I keep thinking of the song, ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegra Shelley, lindos los corazones. So it's, it's a joyful, a joyful fading into the sunset. Knowing that if we've lived our gospel, the gospel life in our own small way, this gospel life, this love that we tried to share with the people around us will remain in the hearts of those we've journeyed with. Well, by the way, the topic for today is entitled The Structure or the Organizational Structure of the J Capuchin JPIC uh, animators throughout the world. Well, you see, the Capuchin is an international order. The Capuchins, is a, we are an international order. We have Capuchins in Pacific Asia, Capuchins in uh, the Spanish-speaking American regions in the Americas, in Canada, in, in uh, Australia. We have in India, many brothers in India. We have brothers also in the different parts of Europe. And in the large continent of Africa, there are a lot of Capuchin presences and a lot of JP ani IC animators working, especially in the peripheries of these regions. And so there is an importance of having an organizational structure so that the brothers will be able to do their JPIC work more, more fully. So this is what we will be discussing. It will be from page 8 to page 10 of our JPIC handbook. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's go. Okay, so our topic for today is uh, number 3.0, which is the JPIC structures and roles of coordinators, animators in the order. Okay. So uh, during 2017, this was the organizational structure that was exist existing in JPIC. Now, it sort of changes a little bit or get modified depending on the discernment of the superiors. Uh, but at least we have a major uh, idea of what the JPIC structure is. And then uh, along the years, it gets modified. But then hopefully we can go back again to the same structure. No? For example, uh, at this present time, uh, we do not have the uh, international level, the international uh, JPIC commission, which at this present time is not existing. Uh, at the discernment of the superiors, they, uh, we, need, uh, we, we, ha uh, we had to undergo some trimming down for a while. Hopefully in the future, we do not know, maybe it, it, the, the international uh, JPIC Commission will be again re-established and uh, it's re actually it's really very important to have this kind of commission because uh, 
if there's only one person working in the JPIC office at the Courier and the scope of JPIC work is quite wide, justice, uh, dialogue with other religions, and also uh, the promotion of the care of creation, this is quite big. And uh, uh, having more members who are uh, assigned working in the field, uh, assisting the one who is assigned in the in the Korea, it will be really a big help. So there are some modifications depending on the needs of the time and at the same time also uh, the discernment of the superiors. So uh, there's there are some modifications that went along the years. But uh, at least this main, main structures I think is quite ideal and quite uh, well thought of. Uh, for me, I also agree with this structure that was uh, created during 2017, and uh, maybe as as the as the JPIC office evolves in time, maybe we will be able to retain again the same structure, or maybe we will come up with uh, an even more efficient structure. But at this present time, the the structure that was proposed during 2017, uh, for me, is a, a very very uh, uh, workable structure and a very um, very strong structure and that's why we would like to discuss it as it was presented during 2017 okay so it has here uh, it says here uh, the main uh, the fundamental purpose of the JPIC Commission both in the international level uh, which is uh, the JPIC office of the Korea together with the uh, JPIC interna uh, international JPIC Commission um, uh, and also in the provinces and in our provinces are number one to inform number two to integrate and number three to inspire so to, ins to inform integrate and inspire friars in the ways and works of jpic so uh, the work of the jpic animators of in informing integrating and inspiring is uh, something that is a uh, constant and at the same time, informing is because the JPIC is also the voice of the poor in the order. So the big responsibility of the JPIC animator is to constantly inform the general Korea and the brothers for the, in the rest of the world of the JPIC situations in their specific peripheries. Okay, so it says here, the objectives of the International JPIC Commission. The fundamental purposes of the JPIC Commission, both at the international levels and other provinces, are to inform, integrate, and inspire friars in the ways and works of JPIC. As such, in the work of animation of the whole order in the area of JPIC, there are two entities. Okay, So, the international office, that's the first entity, and the second one is the international commission. The general minister and his council appoint a director of the JPIC office. So. Uh, in the general Korea, there is a JPIC office, and in that JPIC office, there is what we call the JPIC director. Okay, and uh, there are also members and officers of the JPIC commission. This is now, at this present time, not, not existing. But uh, during that time, during 2017, aside from the JPIC director, there are representatives from the different uh, regions of the world. Like, for example, the different conferences, the one in Pacific Asia, the one in India. Before, during that time, India and Pacific Asia were together. And there is one member of the commission there. There is also a member in the Americas. There is also a member in, in the Spanish-speaking Americas and in Brazil. So, uh, there, there are certain members of the commission. And uh, these members of the commission helps the director uh, integrate, inspire, and inform the brothers throughout the world okay so the general minister and his council appoint the director of the jpic office the members and officers of the jpic commission and appoint general council liaison to the jpic commission so within the general council itself there is one general counselor that is assigned to the jpic office so at this present time our uh, general counselor in charge of JPIC is Brother Victorious Duardi. I am presently assigned as the director for the JPIC office. Uh, at present, we do not have the J International JPIC Commission. So hopefully, maybe 
before uh, the term our term finishes hopefully maybe uh, with the discernment of the superiors maybe we can again rebuild a an international JPIC commission with God's grace hopefully it will be like that but at this present time the international JPIC commission is not existing okay so at the general level the JPIC office it is a permanent structure of the order yeah because it is here that all the informations go and all the help also from here uh, assistance also to those who are in the peripheries uh, somehow the office assists those those who are in the peripheries to require or ask help from the general council the director is the principal agent assisting in the animation formation and coordination and networking of friars and others in the areas of justice peace and care of creation at the international and conference levels as well as in individual circumscriptions okay at the international level so this is the international jpic commission uh which uh, yeah okay uh, at this present time is not existing but uh, during that time the description is this one the jpic commission collaborates with the jpic director so they are a team okay in an advisory and consultative role so this is a very good setup because uh, the director gets also ideas from the members of the commission and at the same time uh, the role of, of animation is shared not just the work is it is not just a work of one brother but it is a fraternal work uh, members of the jpic commission also work with the jpic director in order to animate the capuchins throughout the whole world okay representing the concerns needs interests and expectations of the international fraternity the members of the commission are expected to gather information about JPIC concerns. Okay, so they are the ones who, because they are the ones who are in touch with the peripheries, no? so they gather the information so that we can share it to the general courier. They are uh, part of the voice of the poor in the order and initiates from circumscriptions and other relevant places in order to properly fulfill their consultative and an advisory role. Okay, because they are more in touch of the, in the grassroots, no? So they are able to give vital advices to the JPIC office at the conference and circumferential level. So there are also JPIC animators in the conference level. So we have several conferences. We have conference uh, of the they call uh, national uh, the North American Conference. There is the right now the uh, Hispanic speaking American Conference, and then we have also the the uh, capuchin conference of brazil we also that have the pacific asia capuchin conference we have the indian uh, cc msi uh, this is the indian conference and then we also have that of europe there are several conferences in that of europe and also uh, there are two uh, two conferences in in the african continent which is very huge uh, one half is uh, conference in the east and the other is the conference in the west so uh, local JPIC coordinators or animators and commissions, they are intended to mirror the international structures at the circumferential level. So for example, one circumference, for example, Indonesia, there are JPIC animators. There is one coordinator for the whole of the, for example, uh, the province of Pontianak, there is one JPIC coordinator for all the JPIC workers there. And then this JPIC coordinator coordinates also with the rest of the coordinators of Pacific Asia and there is one representative also for Pacific Asia. So they also follow a sort of like an umbrella-like structure so that information gathered from the field can go up to the general Korea. Okay. Um, ideally, there should be one JPIC coordinator and a commission for each circumscription of the order. So, for example, if it is the province of, province of Pontianak, there is one coordinator for all the JPIC animators there. And then also he has a team, which is also the JPIC commission for the province of Pontianak. So it's the same also with other provinces. However, where this is not possible, yes, because it depends on the needs of the situation. For example, there are only few friars and there's only one JPIC coordinator. So... It depends also on the situation. So, uh, ideally, there should be one JPIC coordinator and commission for each circumscription of the order. However, 
where this is not possible or where there are no existing JPIC structures, like for example, uh, those circumscriptions that are just beginning, so there is still no JPIC representative there, it may be more practical to appoint a JPIC coordinator and commission for an entire conference. So for those where, for example, there are a lot of small uh, circumscriptions, at least there would be one JPIC coordinator for the whole conference. Like for example, if uh, uh, Pacific Asia has uh, doesn't have any representative in the circumscription, but at this present time they have a lot of uh, representatives because there are a lot of brothers working in JPIC there. But just for example, uh, one uh, conference like Pacific Asia or uh, maybe uh, Chenok, which is uh, Eastern Europe, for example, there is no JPIC uh, presence of JPIC animators there, then at least there should be at least one JPIC coordinator for that conference. Okay. And a commission for the entire conference. If it is also possible, if they can still also have a commission. So a coordinator and some members of the commission, provided that the commission is representative of the member circumscriptions of the conference. So it would be nice also that each circumscription or each country where the conference is, uh, each country should at least have one representative. So uh, as far as possible, what we try to do is that for each circumscription, uh, by the way, a capuchin circumscription means a, a, a cluster of many, many fraternities, which is usually when you look at it geographically, it can be one country. For example, uh, the Philippine province, it's one country and it's one uh, circumscription. Korea, is also South Korea is also one country and it's also one circumscription so it's a, a sort of like a division uh, okay so um, the local coordinator or animator so these are the ones who are working in the field the local coordinator or animator assists in the animation formation and coordination of friars in the circumscription or conference and serves as the primary point of contact with the JPIC office in Rome so these are the brothers who work in the periphery. For example, in Brazil, there is one brother who works in the favelas. So he can send information to the JPIC office so that we would know what are the struggles of the people living in the favelas. Uh, there's another one working with the indigenous people. Uh, so the information that he can share to the general Korea JPIC office is very vital so that we will know uh, what are the needs of those people who are in the field? Especially, for example, in an area where there has been an emergency or environmental emergency or political emergency, uh, immediately the brothers worldwide can respond to the needs of those who are in that area. Okay. He also helps to bring JPIC concerns of the circumscription conference to the JPIC office of Rome. In addition, he collaborates with the local JPIC Commission of the Circumscription Conference to ensure that the programs of the JPIC Office and Commissions in Rome are implemented at the local level. So, for example, right now the project of the JPIC Office in Rome is to promote uh, the Capuchin Gem, uh, Capuchin Green Environment Movement. So, it is also uh, upon the JPIC animator of the local area or the circumscription to promote this project of the General Korea. At the same time, right now, the General Korea is also promoting collaboration between the JPIC animators and the formators in the area of the Ratio Formationis, wherein uh, JPIC animators should be part of the formators so that they will be able to immerse our brothers in initial formation at all levels of their initial formation. So in a certain sense, uh, it is the JPIC brothers who are in the peripheries, who are uh, in the field, who knows the situation and knows which JPIC uh, apostolates or institutions can provide this uh, learning to our brothers in initial formation. That is why uh, one good move that, uh, for example, our brothers in, in Brazil has done is that uh, as part of the formation team, there is one JPIC animator who became part already of the team. Before they had, they had three members of the formation team, now they included another member, a fourth member of the 
whole uh, Brazilian conference, Capuchin conference, there is now one member of the formation team that is a JPIC animator. It is our hope that in the other circumscriptions also, in the other conferences, there will be also this team that the part of the formation team is a JPIC animator. So because a JPIC animator will be able to find ways together, together with the formators, together they will be able to find ways in order that our brothers in initial formation will have uh, an immersion with those who are excluded in the society and also in the environment and also in the area of dialogue throughout the levels of their formation, the different levels of their formation. So uh, this is also very important. So uh, the JPIC animators give information to the general Kuya at the same time, the information from the general Kuya, the JPIC animators also uh, spread to the field, especially to their respective circumscriptions. Okay. The local JPIC commission, they collaborate with the JPIC coordinator in an advisory consultative role. So it's the same with the International Commission of JPIC. There is also a commission team in the circumscription level where uh, the team also give advice also and they work together as a team. They share their work, the load, in order that our JPIC animators in the circumscription will be able to function well. So you, when you look at it, it's a beautiful structure that we have. And um, it would be nice to to read this this uh, this topic. It's not a very long structure you know, when you look at it. So it's very easy. You know? At the international level, there's the JPIC office and there's the international commission from the different conferences throughout the world that helps the JPIC director to disseminate information to the field. Now, in the local areas, there are also there's also one JPIC animator, and there's also a team that they work with. And then they work, they are sort of part of a big umbrella that they, they provide information up to the general courier, and then from the general courier, they provide information down to the field. So you see, this is the JPIC, Capuchin JPIC uh, structure in the order. Well. That's our topic for today. I hope that it has, it has been very fruitful for you. Um, always remember that the structure will also depend on the discernment of our superiors and also the needs of the time. So we, it might change a certain thing, but at least we have this handbook to show us, to remind us of what the structure started with. Uh, the, the, the main structure, uh, this remains here and it is written here, so we can always go back to it and the superiors also can reflect on it and they can see, uh, make better discernment based on the information that is being given by the JPIC handbook. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for spending this time with me. Until next time, may God bless all of you and may peace reign in the world.